For the record podcast, man, we in the building. I'm feeling real good this week. Mr. the Rockstar DJ. The rockstar DJ, you holler. Rockstar DJ, K Player. The Rockstar DJ, D Money. For the, for the, for the record. Uh. Right now, we're going to jump <laughs> off with music like we always do. Yes. And I'm so happy to talk about this topic. Almost, as, almost as happy as I was to talk about Cardi B's album, The God. J. Cole yes. Hello. dropped a freaking album, Amen. man. Yes. KOD on 420, yes. and it is fucking amazing. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Let's talk about really? it. Really? Y'all think it was amazing? Let's talk about it, gentlemen. I thought oh, it was, it was, it was amazing. Amazing. I amazing. I think the culture right. needed it. I liked right. it. You know what I'm saying? He had some great messages in there. It's a great listen. I think uh, at first, first listen, mm-hmm. honestly, I won't fucking with it. I wasn't fucking with it like for the first like three or four tracks until he got to what was it, like ATM or Motivate one of those records. Mm-hmm. ATM, you know, and that's when I that's when I first jumped on. Yeah, fuck so with KOD. Got, KOD came out the gate hard. Listen, yeah, yeah, yeah. So KOD. So I I, I I try to fuck with KOD, but you know, first I got to get in the groove with the record though. Okay. You know? yeah. Like yeah, you know, yeah, you gotta yeah, you gotta yeah, hear yeah. things a few times. So there's like a lot of shit that you miss the first time you listen to something. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's how I was with KOD. I was like, uh, I mean, the shit don't sound cool. For me to for it to really grab my attention. So when you actually like pay attention like to the lyrics, like what he's saying, word to word to word, yeah. you know, like I'm like, okay, now I'm actually starting to fuck with this record. But then I think it was like the next couple of records after that, um, I wasn't really rocking with it like that until um I say like ATM or Motivate, one of those records came on, and then for the rest of the album at that point on was just fire. The shit was super lit after that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, I still don't shit. fuck with the with the fucking intro. You don't? I like uh, the I mean, intro's intro. the intro. Yeah, it's just the intro and shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mean. But I, I literally listened to it like the first time I heard the album. But after that, I just fast forward through the shit uh-huh. every single time. I mean, J. Cole's intro's always like that. I mean, yeah. it's like more kind of, if you love J. Cole, then you're going to love his intro. But it's not like. It's like the I, most important of them all. Right. It's going to be like, <laughs> yeah. Love. It's like, going to be like pass. talking or whatever. It's not going to be like most. But people consider intros now like interludes basically or like songs yeah. or yeah. you know what I'm saying yeah. like yeah. The KLD he is, cool. is literally making like intros like it's not no damn song it's an intro like you know what I mean like it's some weird shit to I don't know I guess set the mood of the album so I mean right, I don't, I don't, I don't I even say, I don't even pay attention to it like to me I don't even rate that on the album because that, that's yeah. it's an intro it's like nothing to me like I'm not gonna go I back. mean but when, when when they drop it though like yeah this is a, um a 12 track project so they count yeah, that yeah, shit yeah, as a track yeah, 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 so yeah. it's like well I actually it's so. 11 because I skipped this shit every single time. <laughs> actually it's 11 because yeah, <laughs> yeah that first one is talking get, you know <laughs> you know the intro gets no play in this ride. Did he ever explain why he named it K.O.D. though? Because they say, okay, this this first track, well, the second track, which is actually the first track, you know, um, called K.O.D., you know, that's supposed to explain why the album is called K.O.D. So I hear all these different explanations, kids on drugs or this and that on drugs. And so I don't hear anything really referencing that shit in the in the. Fucking self titled tra- self titled track itself called KOD. So did y'all catch that shit? Am I missing something? I'm not gonna lie, I really pay attention. Yeah, I didn't either actually. I uh, wasn't I, looking for We will we will definitely go back and listen to that and <laughs> try to figure it out. But um the ones that grab me, uh my favorite tracks. I mean obviously I feel I just K O D is hard to me. Like I like I can't remember what he's saying in the damn track, so best I'm not gonna reference. Yeah, I'm not gonna say it. no. It's not the best. Not my favorite on there. So uh, what like, is your favorite? my favorite on there is Kevin's heart. <laughs> Kevin's heart is dope, okay. and 1985. 1985 is fire. Yeah, I think 1985 is like a favorite so far. I think that's my favorite, also, man. I gotta rock with that 1985. For those who don't know, uh, fucking 1985 is supposed to be a diss track. Everybody pretty much assumes that it's on Lil Pump. Yeah, you know, just getting on him because uh, he made and smoke like, this, this track uh, called uh, if it wasn't fuck J Cole. Hold on, it's smoke perk black. Yeah, smoke okay. perk is black. So that's why. Yeah, yeah that's, that's why, why I was confused. I'm like smoke perk. Yeah, 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 I was like little pump. Like that was that was the thing that confused me because I was like, bro, little pump is not black. We've had this conversation. Like, yeah, yeah, that, that was <laughs> like, kind of the thing though. You know, but, but smoke I mean, perk, he that makes a, sense. That makes he sense. He made a track yeah. spe- explicitly called fuck J Cole. You know, yeah, yeah, I mean, the shit is garbage if you ever listen to this shit. So it's questionable, like, if that is who he's referring to when he made the 1985 track. No, I think it is. It was. It was. I think part of it, but it makes sense that it was. But about he's not both black, though. But he talked about that in the track. Smoke Perp, though. It is. That's what I'm saying. I feel, so I, feel like... I, think, I think this track was actually um, dedicated to, like, the younger generations who don't appreciate the OGs, for example, yeah. J. Cole. Well, yeah, for I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. So, definitely. 
So I'm, I don't think it's necessarily about somebody in particular. Oh no, it is. It's about Little Pump. I think it was Definitely. motivated by Little Pump, yes. but I don't think it's completely about Little Pump. It's yeah, about yeah. everybody yeah. Yeah. from yeah, his yeah, genre yeah, yeah, or, yeah. or his generation I mean, who think that you know what I'm saying they they're bigger than what they are. And what I took mm-hmm. from the track, I mean, definitely because I don't feel like, and that's why everybody's like, oh, it's a dish. It's not a diss track. It's a grown man track. Like it's like on some Jay Z shit. How Jay Z like, I'm a slick diss you, but I'm gonna talk some real shit while I'm dissing yeah, you. Like yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm and yeah. it's kind of like on some More school like shit. Like yeah, yeah, exactly. There you go. Definitely yeah, he's like definitely sunning. Kids. He's sunning a little. I mean, he definitely sunning a little pump and smoke perp. Mm-hmm. Like y'all niggas want to, you know, <laughs> have Play my name in your name. mouth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, let me, yeah, yeah. Let me. I'm mm-hmm. fucking with your little funky ass name. <laughs> you know <what> I'm <laughs> like, <laughs> let me just reference these little jabs, mm-hmm. and then overall, all y'all niggas, let me give y'all some game. Yeah, because he is considered. You know, and one of, and more of the new school, you know what I'm saying? I mean, they're starting to graduate because, like I said, he's in the class with Drake and Kendrick or whatever. But, like, if you want to get to this level of fame and this level of, you know what I'm saying, of accomplishment, like, all right, cool. Like, y'all niggas is good right now, but I'm be good forever, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, not even, like, let me shit on you. Let me give you some game and listen to what right. I'm saying. So what you're doing you is cool good, now. Yeah. yeah, what you're doing like, is cool right now, money. but mm-hmm. let's stack some money and let's think about maybe... Making some other type of music so you can be here long term. Like I know I'm gonna be here long term. Yeah, right. Like mm-hmm. Cole can forever tour off the music he dropped. Easy. Right? Yeah. But a lot this of these artists now relevant. they ain't gonna be 30, 40 years old touring off the off yeah, the music off that they the drop. True. Wow. Man, uh, let's leave. Uh, yeah, don't do that. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't. Let's not get on Block Boy JB because he is winning right now. Right. He's not I in mean, that he, class. He, well, he too new in the game to be yes. judging him based on that. Yes. But just I would not put him in the little the little category just quite yeah, yet. Yeah, I put him in the 20, 21 Savage category, which is a whole different category in my I'm eyes. Not yeah, I would too. Yes, that, yeah. Like, I'm saying that y'all really think that song is gonna have like staying power, like how J Cole yes. was talking about. I mean, I just, yes. I mean, you wanna know why? Because if you throw on that goddamn Soldier Boy dance right now, <laughs> niggas are still gonna go crazy. Facts. This is facts. It's certain dance. It's certain dance songs that no matter when you throw them on, niggas is gonna go. It's gonna take you back to that bullshit that you was on then. Yeah. So just the reference, the fact that it's like a dance track is what's gonna save it. Depending on what song it is, that shoot track may make. That's it. what I'm. I'm specifically talking about that. Yeah, I think it I mean, will. It's kind of early to tell, but I mean, I has, think it will. Why it not? Because that dance the, is the that dance is very very popular right now. So okay. why not? The Soldier Boy shit. It had a whole like everything and this had a whole routine. Yeah, yeah like the and it, you throw that and it on. Spawned off. You throw it that on. Yeah, exactly. Other yeah, cranks. Yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly. Yeah, crank that Batman. Yeah. So you throw that on now, and my old thirty year old ass is still gonna try to remember the steps. Like, hold on, now you. You know what I'm saying? Like, so why not shoot? Is the shoot is super simple, and it looks cool. And I mean, why not? I don't, I don't, I, I can't say that in the next 20 years that if you throw that on, people won't remember it and go crazy. Like, man, I remember it probably when will, I was though. out I here. It's like the yeah, vanilla right. ice, right. like ice, ice baby, yeah, like, like bullshit ass Hammer song. time. I mean, there's a bunch yeah. of stuff that when it comes on, that like, you don't, you don't take the shit serious. Can't touch this? Right. Yeah. It may be well, a bunch yeah, of yeah, it yes. might be a bunch of bullshit. Like man, this is some bullshit. But when it come on, like you got to do that dance. Like okay, I remember when I used to get off. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> real quick. I used to kill the time. <laughs> <laughs> but I wonder. I do wonder how some of these records are gonna like the longevity factor. How they are gonna pan out over the years? Just because. Just the mm-hmm. music that's being made now, the stand power is just for sad. immediate consumption. Yeah, it's not for exactly. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, the world is going to change I mean, so much by the time the future comes around. Because mm-hmm. you see how 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 much music or how many okay. new artists are coming out right now. Yeah, you know it's going to be oversaturated you know in the what? future. It's not going to be like it was where we say, "Oh, we're going to go to a, like a Salt and Pepper concert or MC I mean, Hammer." Or something. Honestly, mm-hmm. these dudes got to do the best that they can do in what they do because you want to know why. We are all DJs, and I always try to bring it back to DJing. There's always been bullshit in every whatever decade or however many years you want to categorize it as. And us being DJs, I know me, I know I've seen money do it too. I'm pretty sure you and K player, Q and K play, I've done it too. When you get in that pocket, if you go old school or what I consider old school, older music, and you get in a pocket, so let's say Yup and my white tee. Mm-hmm. If you hit that at the right time and it goes off, you can hit all those songs that was in that pocket that was popping at that time <laughs> yeah, and yeah. set the club the yeah, fuck off. And kill that yeah, shit, yeah, for sure. Yeah. But if you play it by itself, it's like, nigga, what kind of bullshit are yeah. you playing yeah, you right can't, now? You can't yeah, randomly yeah, exactly. hit yeah. my white tee. Yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. Old ass old watch. Yeah, that's 
I'm saying <laughs> from, from the DJ standpoint, from my standpoint, you don't know. In 10 years right now, I can get in my pocket to play Gucci Gang and then hit everything that was popping in that time frame and yeah. set the club off. Like, okay, I jumped in that pocket real quick right, and killed right, right. it yeah, and real. got out of it. So, I mean, that's what I'm saying. I mean, it's all about, yeah. I feel like you, but that's what I said. You have to make the best music of your time at that time to be able to do that. Because if you make some bullshit and it don't hit, it's, if it didn't hit then, it's not going to hit. In ten years, for sure. I mean, yeah, you can't be too forward thinking, yeah. or I mean, that's a crutch. But I yeah. mean, anyway. But back to Cole. So, yeah. I would say, for me, nineteen eighty five was. I mean, the it was definitely it was definitely a standout. But you, I like brackets. I think brackets, brackets is, was, is brackets probably was the one I would like. If I was to press play on the album and skip to a track, I would probably go to brackets first. Yeah, just because he was talking some real shit in that song. And I don't I, know, man. I mean, yeah. I mean, he, he's talking some real shit, but it's not like facts, though. He's just like talking some shit that what he feel. He talking well, about. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's just some shit to get you thinking. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, it, de- yeah, definitely, yeah. It, it definitely gets you thinking, you know. But it's it's low key, and I I know you gonna appreciate this shit because it's low key on some conspiracy theory type shit, right? You know, so right. I know that's kind of that's. Kinda I mean, one, one, once once that's, that's what I tuned in to first. You yeah. know, when like the whole like, yo, why can't I? Tell you where I want my money to go. Right. If I'm if I'm giving you all this money, I'm giving right. it to this dude who ain't never set foot in the hood. Yeah. Right. Who about to do with my money? Who what I don't want? Right. Like I mm-hmm. can appreciate and then the that same message. Thing, you want me to put it in the schools where the schools ain't really worried about our damn kids anyway. So why am I putting all I'm this teaching money? Teaching a real history. It? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. So I mean, I definitely yeah. feel that. Yeah. I also felt uh, one once an addict when he was talking about his mom's. I don't know if that's an actual true story or not, but I thought that was that shit was, was powerful. Sound like a, yeah, sound like a, a true story. Yeah, it sounded like a true story to me. But like you said, I ain't I, ain't, I haven't fact checked. It yet. Yeah. yeah, you know, I had to run it back. Like the first time yeah. I listened to it, it hit me, and I'm like, "Damn, let me run this shit." <laughs> no, like, the, the, the shit I think the shit is true because if you listen to some of his uh, older projects, he actually references some of the same shit that he's talking I about. I mean, yeah, like we were talking about your favorite album. Uh, what was it? The, the, the 2014. For, yeah, because you know he yeah. went back and bought that house because his mom lost it or some shit like right, that. Right, right, right. And yeah, then he yeah, talks yeah. about that in the song right, too. Right, right. Well, at least in the 1985 track, he talks about one. Hopefully, one day you could buy your mama house because yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, so yeah. you could tell he's he's obviously talking about the shit he actually did and speaking right. facts. Yeah. So when he says some shit, I actually believe him. I don't think he's just talking mm-hmm. like stories about right, this right, random right. shit. He's talking about his own actual experience. But I'm actually looking at the playlist now and. <laughs> All right, so KOD is track number two, right? Yeah. Out, of, out of 12, whatever, with number one being the intro. And then he got the photograph track, and then like the track after that is called The Cutoff, which I'm fucking with that shit too, which leads you into ATM, The, the Motivate, yeah. the, and the, the rest album of it, which is, which fire, is all bro. the shit that I'm saying that I'm fucking with. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But all right, so I, I'll take it back. All right, the track that I'm least fucking with is probably Photograph, because what? that's some shit that he made for like all the Instagram models and shit. You know what I mean? Like he's just talking about, you know, just. How did the chick off of Instagram basically the whole song? Nah, but I mean that's you could pretty much say that's like today's dating scene. You know what I'm saying? Like Cats is really like I mean yeah, and I feel ain't. like he he knows that that's a and great he intentionally fucking point. he yeah. intentionally made the song because it hey. it, it, it fucking is relevant to today's dating, dating scene. scene. Hey, yeah, you, yeah. Hey, you holla, hold on, man. You know what I'm telling you? <laughs> let, let me get out some game real quick. If you holla, want, a real yeah, player, yeah, man. You know what I'm Somebody who knows about the shit. These days, hold on. Let me pop my collar on. These days, if you, if you wanna if you wanna bag a bad bitch, you know what I'm saying? Pop your collar on them. All you gotta do, all you gotta do is book her for some shit. You know what I mean? So if you're a DJ, you may want you, 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 may, you, you may want a bad thing to stand next to you. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you come to the club with me, I got you. You know what I mean? Is that, is that why all these Instagram models got this booking information on their shit? Right. Yeah, you're booking but you know what I'm saying? What? what like? I mean, the whole just how to, and this is probably my favorite thing about the album. It just flow. You know nah, what I'm saying? Dope, it it, yeah. it starts and it's just a nice flow from beginning to end. Like the all the tracks kind of just easily transitioned into each other. But um, yeah, like that was one of the tracks that really, really caught me was photographed. Really? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like Ooh. just getting into <laughs> that's my opinion. Yeah. Just getting into the album. And then from there, you know, everything else just consumed. Like every song was like a different topic and, and he really hit home on them. You know right. what I'm saying? So I mean, well, J. Cole... I, 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 um, I feel like the Photographs track is equivalent to um, the Wet Dreams track on his last joint. I mean, it kind of like stood out from the rest of the album. Yeah. You could tell that he just made one just to throw it out there for the people because he know that this is what people like. I don't you know, really... But I don't feel like it was I don't really think it like was the that. real I J. Think, Cole. I think he was really coming I think from it was, a perspective I think of, you said it in the wrong way. It's a relatable track. 
Yeah. Like when you go yeah, to Wet Dreams and he tells that story, it automatically takes you back to your first time and that type of shit. Like, right. oh, well, damn, I feel that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I yeah, yeah. Know, shit, that me young too. nigga yeah, in class. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So I think photograph is the same thing. Like, you can always put yourself in that. You know what I'm saying? These days, like, this is a common thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. so, uh, I mean, but I mean, overall, you know, like, we've mentioned Cole on plenty of episodes by this time now mm -hmm. um and i mean i just salute him for like i said being obviously like one of the dopest artists in the game one of the artists that make real music yeah. that we appreciate the game and it was and great then, that the culture recognized it like yeah. it was great anticipation that's what i was about to say album. he's one of the you know few people who move like mm -hmm. a J. I i mean you know, no pun intended. He signed it to Jay, but he's one of the few people who can move like a Jay and a Beyonce mm -hmm. or that type of like and a Kendrick. But most of these, even like Kendrick and Drake, not to throw no shade on them, like they usually announce albums and put promo behind it yeah. before. J Cole is one of them dudes. When I say like Jay and Beyonce, yeah, like bro, I'm gonna drop whatever the fuck I want to mm -hmm. when yeah. I want to, whether I have a and single or not, dope. and it's gonna fucking go and I'm gonna sell regardless. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Well, you know I mean, he did. He broke a Spotify record, the most. The most mm. single day stream of a song ever was KOD, the title yeah, track. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he now has the record for that, which he beat out, I want to say Taylor Swift for that. Yeah. So, so I, mean, I mean, shit. He's that dope of an artist. Like, I cool. Like, and it's dope following. that he found that pocket to where, like, look, I don't got to conform to shit. Right. I don't have to sit here and spend tons of fucking money that could be in my pocket on but promotion he, for he months really at a time. telling stories that yeah. most. People can relate to most people feel. Yeah, you know he what I'm he fills a void, so yeah. he don't he don't got to conform because no, right. people are gonna conform to him because he really the he's like he's a like relatable dude. Like he yeah. ain't really like like as much industry. And this is why I like Cole. Like as much industry as he is, he don't seem like an industry type. Like he yeah. ain't out here doing hella features in right. music. You know what I'm saying? Like he seemed like a regular feature. dude mm -hmm. who just dope as fuck with the pen. He got a couple of features. Calm down. Well, I'm no, I'm, I'm saying. No, no, I'm talking about on this album. Oh, on this oh, album, oh yeah, this album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, you know, so same dude, two features, but same dude. Well, yeah. which Chill that's levels. a different story. Yeah. Um, but. You know, he seemed like a regular dude, so he ain't really out here like on the Hollywood shit, yeah. you know, like playing the scene. And to go along with that, he's talking about relatable subjects, so mm -hmm. it just makes him seem that more personable, which I, I, I think, think is an appeal. I think just a subject that's relatable, but the way that he can put the things, the yeah, things that I mean, he's yeah, talking about yeah. is a way where people can understand, it's like, yes, I feel exactly the same way, or I think the same way that you do. Right. And so it's, it's beyond just... The subjects of what he's talking about, but it's just putting it in perspective. And he makes shit just sound so simple with the way that right. he says yeah, shit. Yeah, exactly. It's just so effortless. But but I, I, oh, go ahead, go ahead. The thing I love about, another thing I love about him so much is I mean, he makes me feel like the old industry. Like, These I don't need to be, I don't need to be out here 24-7 right. in y'all face. I don't need to drop... 20 features or right. 30 features in a year i don't need to be on tv i don't need to be all over instagram right whatever right. like i'm gonna drop a project and then i'm gonna go back to my regular life and i'm gonna <laughs> really create something to where my next project come you're gonna be buzzed because you know i haven't been around you know what i'm yeah, saying so you yeah, yeah. you waiting on it like Yo, man like what is he cooking on. about yeah. like what is he cooking you know what i'm saying he he been gone for a year and a half i haven't mm -hmm. heard nothing i and know then, when he dropped it's gonna be stupid yeah like right. that's what i love about it like that's like the old industry like man yo, yo jay been gone for a minute where jay at what then he his doing son and cats on <laughs> right. top of that yeah, so, yeah. Right. i mean that 1985 <laughs> you know what i'm saying like, <laughs> if you have not heard 1985 you want some good hip-hop you want some good just talking your shit in a some, real way some and game, yeah. yeah like some real game like in it and make it sound cool at the same time because he got in that pocket he don't even rap like that he just nah. got in the pocket of just like it's funny because it got an old school feel with a new school rap to it yeah yeah, I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. And people was even trying to diss him, talking about he was stole somebody else's flow. Or something yeah, like I that. mean, but I think that was the purpose. Like, bro, I'm reaching, talking about y'all young niggas. Yeah, so I'm gonna rap like y'all young get niggas. Let on y'all level. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. I'm gonna put it on the old school beat, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna son y'all at the same time. Show so how easy this shit is. <laughs> exactly. Right. Yeah, right. Right. Damn near, like the underlying factors. I'm gonna show y'all how I got easy to sound it is. Like yeah. you and everybody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah I can do this shit too, fam. But I can also do me and do and do it better. Yeah. Just know this shit gonna get old real quick. So, I mean, definitely, we could have a whole damn episode on J. Cole. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, he's definitely one of the mysterious characters. And when he do come out, <laughs> it's up for debate for hours. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you could break down every tack and right. talk about yeah. it nonstop. But another person That's right. surfaced. Yes. You know, <sighs> like like a turd. Put him, 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 put him,